AI art? Sure, why not? Artificial intelligence is like a computer brain that can learn and make decisions on its own. Well, some clever artists have figured out a way to use AI to make art. They feed the computer a bunch of data like images or sounds, and then the computer uses that data to create something new and unique. Some people might argue that AI art isn't really art because the computer is doing all the work. Others believe that while the computer might be doing the heavy lifting, it's the artist who decides what data to use and how to manipulate it. Plus, the end result is still a beautiful piece of art. One of the coolest things about AI art is that it can create stuff that humans might never think of. For example, one AI program takes an image and analyzes it, looking for patterns and shapes. Then it enhances those patterns and shapes to create something exaggerated and surreal. Another type of AI art is called generative art. This is where the computer creates art in real time, constantly changing and evolving based on different inputs. It's like the art is alive. Some examples of generative art include an app that you can download on your phone. You can use it to create your own unique designs by moving your phone around. Such apps use the phone's sensors to generate different patterns and colors based on your movements. But it's not just abstract art that AI can create. It can also be used to create more traditional art forms like paintings and sculptures. For example, an artist used AI to create a digital painting based on brain scans. The computer analyzed the brain scans and used the data to create a colorful and abstract painting. It's like a visualization of what's going on inside our heads. And then there's the famous AI artist named Aida. She got her name after the famous English mathematician and writer Ada Lovelace. Aida is actually a robot artist that was created by a team of engineers and artists. She has a camera in her eye that allows her to see the world around her and an arm that she can use to draw with. Aida has created some amazing portraits and abstract pieces and she even had her own exhibition at the University of Oxford. Now, I know some people might be worried that AI art will replace human artists, but I don't think that's possible. After all, art is about more than just creating something pretty. It's about expressing ourselves and our emotions. And I don't think a computer could ever truly understand what it means to be human. Instead, AI art is just another tool that artists can use to create something amazing. It's like having a new paintbrush or a new color to work with. And who knows? Maybe one day we'll be able to collaborate with AI to create even more incredible works of art. As it turns out, AI has some problems depicting particular parts of the human body. Spoiler alert, AI can't draw human hands or feet properly. It's kind of like when you were a kid and drew stick figures because hands were too hard to get right. If you ask any AI artist what they find most challenging to create, they'll always say the same thing. And it's not just the technical constraints. Human error is also part of the problem. So what's the deal with AI and hands? Well, hands are complex. They have a variety of different sized and shaped fingers, each with many joints that must be captured accurately for a hand to look natural. And did you know that the shape of a person's hand may serve as a more reliable biometric identification than their facial features? Even human artists struggle to create convincing hands. Another factor contributing to the unnatural appearance of AI hands is how humans perceive them. We have a natural, innate understanding of something about hands that we find highly interesting. Because of this, if there is an error, we will know about it immediately. Our expectations of machine learning are sometimes unrealistic. AI is not the Superman of the art world. It's a relatively new area, and we've been trying to perfect the art of sketching hands for thousands of years, and we still haven't quite made it. Same goes with creating images with human eyes. We're so used to seeing human eyes that it's really easy to tell when something is off, especially when it comes to proportions. But fear not, aspiring AI artists. There are some strategies to help AI art generators produce better outcomes, despite the complexity of hands. You need to know what AI can and can't do so you can adjust the suggestions accordingly. For instance, 
One could try hiding the hands or having them be behind the character's backs. Or even invisible for that matter. Sky's the limit. One could say characters with busy hands make for better artworks. So maybe create a scenario where the character is holding a cup of coffee or something. And never underestimate the importance of cropping. Drawing hands and all might be the lesser of the AI-generated content problems. One national copyright office has said that pictures created by artificial intelligence can't be protected by copyright laws because they're not made by humans. This decision was made when officials looked at the copyright of a graphic novel. The original copyright was given to the author, but it was later discovered that some of the images in the book were made using AI software. The office then took back the original copyright and issued a new one that only covers the writing and how the images are arranged on the page, not the images themselves. So what does this mean? It means that AI-generated content like stories, screenplays, and articles can't be copyrighted in some countries. But the good news is that human artists can still copyright their images, which might make them more valuable. Some people think this decision is great because it protects human creativity, while others think it's bad news for AI-generated content creators who believe that they come up with the ideas and prompts that the AI uses to create the images. The Copyright Office officials backed up their claims by saying, that the process of making images using AI is not the same as that of a human artist, writer, or photographer. The AI software used to create the images in the novel generates four different images based on its training data when given an initial prompt by a user. The user can influence subsequent images with additional prompts, but the process is not controlled by the user because it's impossible to predict what the software will create. In the future, the same Copyright Office will still register works that contain unprotectable material that has been edited or revised by a human author. So, if an artist has creative control over an AI image generating tool, the output may be protectable. To make things clearer in the future, we may need to define what product of human authorship actually means. In reality, only time will tell whether such decisions are good for artists or not. Not all AI-generated images are made in good faith. Some pictures found online can trick you into believing the most outrageous of things. So, what can you do to spot some of these images and distinguish between reality and fiction? First, make sure to look carefully at the picture. Zoom in and examine the details. Next, try to find the image source. This can be done by reading comments or doing a reverse image search. Next, pay attention to body proportions as well. AI-generated images can have discrepancies, such as unusually long fingers or disproportionate body parts. Keep an eye out for typical AI errors, like extra fingers or deformed glasses frames. If the image looks too perfect and artificial, it may be a fake. AI tools often create ideal images that are flawless, with perfect skin and hair. Real life is not always so perfect, Finally, examine the background. Cloned objects or blurred backgrounds can be a sign that the image was manipulated. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.